Good morning. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Wake Dot Show with Fisher and Johnny Torres. We got to start the morning off by getting a bug out of my ear. One of those note earworm, I guess is what they say. Coming up, millionaire six-year-old canine found dead, but first it's Sugar Ray. Every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four-post bed. Are they singing behind me? I know it's time. And- Maybe you should pick it up from here. For the weekend or a one-night stand. Couldn't understand how to work it out. Oh, there we go. Once again, as predicted, let my broken heart open and rip it out. Oh, yeah. How's that sound in your ears? <laughs> Stop me from believing. Oh, oh go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Every morning there's a halo hanging. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm glitching everything. Certain things are starting to blink here. All right. <laughs> Enough of that nonsense. Good morning and welcome to the Wake Dot Show. Uh, a little late start, later start than I would have uh, wanted this morning. But, man, it was, I, I don't know. It's just one of those things you look up and uh, I, if my wife is awake, then I know that I'm late. That's that's the uh, rule in my house. And all of a sudden, when <laughs> she peeks her head out, the uh, she's like, you're still here. Damn it. I'm still on the computer. And, See, uh, my apartment is dark no matter what time of day it is. It's really weird. Good and, for you, buddy. Good and for I have, you. And I have windows, you know, but even in my bedroom. And uh, so I have no sense of time, like no matter what time I wake up. Um, but, you know, we were talking a little bit about the uh, shower vortex mm. uh, theory. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I, it got me. It got it, me a little bit today. It the, got me. The, the shower vortex theory, uh, which I don't know if it's, that, that was the title that he and I gave it as we were talking about it. Yeah. Uh, and everybody's experienced it where you're in the shower. You think it's been five minutes tops. You're in there da, 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 and you get out and it's been 20 minutes, 25, 30. Or all of a sudden the water's going cold and you're going, what the hell? And you get out and you realize, yeah, it's been 25, 30 minutes. You've just been sitting in there. And uh, we've all experienced it. It is a wonderful feeling. Unless unless it makes you late to something. Uh, let's get right to stuff you should know and then get into the uh, show for today. Uh, make sure you like and share, like and share. That's obviously uh, huge for us. A pipe bomb prematurely went off in an underground tunnel linking the Times Square subway station to the Port Authority bus terminal on Monday. About 7.20 a.m., the suspect has been identified as an unmarried 27-year-old green card holder, Ikayen Ula. Ula came to the United States seven years ago from Bangladesh on a visa for people who have family in the U.S. He was the only one seriously injured in the blast. Two Lakewood High students arrested Monday now face felony weapons charges after the school was placed on lockdown following reports of a weapon on campus. The 16-year-olds will be charged with possession of a weapon on a school campus and aggravated assault. Hillsborough County deputies say they used a secret investigative technology that they don't they won't talk about. <laughs> To uh, track down a man who was, <laughs> who was accused of exposing himself to a child in 1993, deputies say 60-year-old Winston Minor, who had been living in the county next to the county that he committed this uh, offense in Polk County, successfully used a false identity uh, when he was originally arrested for the crime in Sefner. 25 years later, they got him. But they won't tell us how. Uh, parent, but they, I, you know, I don't know what it is they're using, obviously, but uh, they say that whatever technology they're using has nabbed quite a few people. And huh. so I guess they're going to keep it under wraps as long as they can. Um, a paraeducator in Bartow, this is a, a sad story, was arrested after police say she struck a disabled student in the face. It happened at Gene Odell Learning Center on December 4th. A witness said the seven year old student, who is a nonverb, is nonverbal and intellectually disabled, became upset and started to kick his feet towards Murphy, at which point she hit him in the face with an open hand. During the investigation, the witness said this was not the first incident of, ab- uh, of abuse involving Murphy. Uh, can, can, am I allowed to... Because I'll tell you what, every can, I, know, I know we've drawn some parameters, some lines on uh, 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 what words we are going to use on this show. There aren't enough words. Uh, but man, the F word is re- is starting to build inside of me right now. How the F, if she has a history of this, does she end up back in the care, you know, taking care of uh, disabled children? 